Greetings, YouTube. Look at me making a coffee in my reusable Starbucks cup. Am I a real YouTuber yet? Um, oh, I hope you can't see anything inappropriate down here. Look. <sighs> um, right, guys. It is currently. Can I read that clock? Half nine on a Tuesday morning and I am not at work. So that means that I actually have a wee life update to be given. Sorry, I'm just making this because my multitasking skills are not great. What flavour shall we do? Uh, let's do mocha today. Whoopee! My flavour drops, get that flavour. Like I always, always do Ooh, like surely that's enough. I always overdo it and then I'm just like And then who's ready for the magic? Woo! Oh. Oh. Upside down, honey. Bear. Let's go sit in the living room with Harry boy. Hi baby. Look. Good morning baby. Hello. I uh, no. <coughs> Sorry I've got the cold I swear it's not Covid. Please don't be alarmed. Oh my god who gave me permission to look so good. You coming up? Come on on YouTube. One. Language you want in? Yay! Hello, buddy. As I said, it's currently half nine on a Tuesday morning, and I am not at Be Inspired Clothing. Ah! Life update time. <laughs> I've finally gone part time in work. Mm. And I know, I know what some of you are thinking. Mm, big deal, big schmeal. Nah. But for me, it really, really is like. I have been saying for like the past year or two, I'm like, imagine I got to a point part time and work and focus fully on Instagram and YouTube, and I was just like, wow, like that is the big goal. And to be honest, I just didn't ever really see it happening because I was just like, that's a that's a big step for me. I've worked full time for the past however many years. I've not had a part time job since I was 17, so this feels wild to me. I'm really really excited. I am. Ugh, why that looks bad. I am nervous because I feel like, oh my god, I'm now working part time, so this is officially like my main focus. So I need to be producing good things. More so, truly wasn't. But now I only work Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So I have obviously my weekends off, thank god, because I was thinking, oh my god, what if I have to work weekends? Because I wasn't really sure if my current work would let me go part time. Thankfully, they did, so I don't have to look for a new job because, yay! stressful and I can only imagine it being extra stressful during a worldwide pandemic. So what that really means is I have no excuses not to be just in loads of content on Instagram and YouTube so you're gonna see a lot of me. Shimmy sh oh shake the donuts. <laughs> so I thought today is the perfect time to film a day in the life but it's a day in my new life because this is my first day off like through the week here I've always wanted mid days mid, like mid week days off right obviously I love my weekends off but I was like oh how class would be just having a weekday off because do you know what do you know why it'd be amazing going to the doctors going to the dentist do you know how hard it is to get a doctor's appointment when you work Monday to Friday 9 to 5 it's mission impossible and now if my health ever deteriorates, I can just hop on down to the doctor's surgery on a Tuesday to Friday, hop on into the dentist. This is brilliant. I've been waiting this day for a long, long, long time. I feel like a bit of a lady of leisure at the moment, just chilling in my house coat, which is bogging. It's got like chocolate all down it. Can you see that? Yeah, actually I can. Okay, I'm just going to pretend it's nice and clean. <laughs> I woke up at nine so I'm like these are still working days right like I'm not going to start slacking and I think I think um, Ma Bear has got the wrong end of six so I was like that the other week I was like oh mum was there a noise there or was that my nose I heard like a beating noise hmm. I was like mum guess what I'm part time and she was like Okay, so maybe I'll come home and you'll have hoovered all upstairs and dusted down all the bedrooms and I was like mum 
Unfortunately, I have not gone part time to take up extra hoovering duties. Actually, she's got the wrong end of sick. <laughs> Treating these days is working days, it's just working days for my dream job. So first things first, we're gonna make breakfast and then I'm gonna make, go get some content done and yeah, you just are coming along with me, Manula. Mm. Mm. Oh, that was awkward. You tried to bite me earlier. Hi guys, so just taking a little and bought the breakfast supplies. We're having um, actually sourdough toast and avocado. Two things I cannot eat, obviously the bread because gluten and avocado is a FODMAP food for my wonderful IBS. But you know what, see if I stuck to the rules on all the foods that I could not eat. I'd be eating potatoes for breakfast, lunch and dinner and dessert. So you know, I'm a rebel and uh, I eat what I want. Sorry nutritionist if you're watching. He is 100% not all mashed up. Mash it up. Mash, mash, mash it up. Ooh la la. You can't even see my avocado but it is under the bacon there. Talk about a nice breakfast. This is a total weekend breakfast and I'm having it on a Tuesday. A Tuesday. I'm officially a lady of leisure. Right, who's ready? Choo choo. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Seal of approval. Ah, ah, ah. Look at Calm's for presentation. Bubble dribbling up. Mm hmm. Well done. Oh. Uh, if you are wondering why Calm's off on a Tuesday, which I'm sure he's probably are, but I'll tell you anyway. <laughs> um, he does like four days on, four days off at work. So that's why we both get a wee Tuesday off together. But, um, it feels weird being off on a weekday, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I've always loved the thought of being off while everyone else is at work. I know that's really mean, but I just, <laughs> I've always liked it. Do the time lapse and then once you finish, you go, right, I'll come back to you when we're at the next stage. So working day has commenced. Um, I'm off to get some content, some pikas for the IG for the week. Um, woo! See, being able to do this on a weekday, it feels tremendous. Normally, I'd get my content and YouTube videos done at the weekend, which is meant to be like my chill time, right? So the past few months, right, during this pandemic that we are currently in, I have had zero, like zilch free time, right? I think I'm the only person on this freaking planet who has no free time. So imagine life was normal right now. I wouldn't be able to live my life and get like Instagram and YouTube stuff done. So that is why I said to myself, right, so basically, so bad it's on the stories, I'm like, blah, 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 here, there and everywhere. The past few months, I've just been really, really stressed out and really exhausted. It got to the point where I didn't even have time to make dinner. Like, I kid you not, I am not being dramatic. There was nights I didn't have dinner because I just did not have the time. So I said to myself, do you know what? In 2021, Shit's gonna change. Shit's about to go down. I was like, I really do need to do that just for my own sanity. Uh, so I'm really excited that that is the plan. Because I'm very, right, I'm a very organised person. I have my diary, I have my planner. I love writing in them. There's something so therapeutic and satisfying about writing in a diary and planner, right? I don't, I, there's actually times where I sit and I'm like, Megan, you have nothing to write in this. And I'm like, I need to write. I need to write something. It's so much fun. On my planner, I write like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, first Friday, Blah, blah, blah. what I'm doing every single day and my schedule for Saturday and Sunday is chill C-H-I-L-L chill I've not done that in the longest time but like, I'm so 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 excited just to relax because relaxation time is very important guys you need to allow the brain to turn off although some would argue that my brain is never turned on <laughs> gonna go get some pictures done and I need to actually pop into Super Jug and just get a few essentials and get a Starbucks. <laughs> photos done. Oh, <laughs> hello, focus on me. Get photos done, Calm actually done all right that time round. No complaints, well done. I always do well, but she's first. No, 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 no. The arguments 
are bad. So I got myself a wee Starbucks, a wee matcha latte. Only, I can't actually decide if I do like it or if I tell myself I like it because Sophia and Chinsey like it. Like the way I get obsessed with YouTube it's, it's freaky. We were out for a wee walk at Pollock Park because this is allowed. This is where I sweep her behind me, that's so awkward. Oh, this is nice, this is scenic. Jump, jump. Man's back on a diet with his wee protein bar. <laughs> this wee maze, guys. Right, let's play a game. Cam, you have to catch me, right? You know that. I'll go get lost in it and then you have to find it. You say you get lost in it, I can obviously see you. <laughs> Won't end up dating it here. Cannonball out it. What? Do a cannonball. Stone it. Do it. Don't be a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> My legs are too stored for that one. Made an absolute terrible choice of footwear for Pollock Park. Not my finest decision. I know, but we walked on the roads. Oh, you look like you're in a scene of a jungle. <laughs> Callum, Callum, Callum of the jungle, look out for that tree! Oh. Na, 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 na. What the fuck, that made me so dizzy just spinning into the circles. Yeah, I feel sick. Wow. Right on my doorstep, with these views. What does uh, David Attenborough say? And foo, the bushes are a wild megano, roaming freely in her Balenciagas through the mud. She regrets this decision, but she's happy nonetheless. <laughs> so guys, I have reached the conclusion, hello, that Calm has a shit sense of smell right see right now. Oh my God, tell me you can't smell no, that. I can smell it, but it's not like actual potent shite. It it's is, it's, like... it's potent manure. Ah, it's, it's, you know? cow, it's cow jobby, but cow it's pat. not. Up to my knees a cow pat. Where are the cows so, Like I, I'm putting up with a smell, but I'm not seeing any animals. And then last night we made mince, and guys, I actually don't know how I ate it, and I'm surprised I'm still breathing at this present time. There, there was nothing wrong with it. It was in date, right? But it was going out of date today. No, it wasn't. It was. No, it wasn't. It was the 12th. Was it? Yep. And when we opened it, the smell nearly knocked me out. No, it and wasn't I, that bad. And I got up like hours later to go to the toilet and I could still smell it. And he said, that smells fine. That'll be why you can put up with your farts. You've no, got a terrible I know, no, but I know, smell. No, but I know, that, I know they stink, but oh it's God. positive. You can put up with your own farts. That's a fact. No. Everyone can deal with their own farts. Put a poll. I'm telling you. <laughs> Comment, <laughs> put in the comments if you can cope with your own fart smell. Hi, look at me getting my selfie. <laughs> Oh. Well, I can push her right after that. That's not even funny. I'd put in a big claim against you. <laughs> I'm sure hey, you would. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's enough of that. <laughs> wow, Paul, look, you be looking cute. Isn't it, bruv? Hello everybody, welcome to the woods, okay, so we're going to go in uh, here. Please don't tell me that's meant to be David Attenborough. No, it's Megan in the woods, mate. Obviously, <laughs> do. <laughs> and then we're all the little hoes. Um, at night time, all the fairies come out to play. Do you know who you sound like? Who? Salad fingers, that might be <gasps> creepy. <laughs> I like when the water comes out of my teeth. Mate, I hate that there, so I'll stop that. So when the clock strikes midnight, all oh, the little fairies, they come scattering out to dance in the room. <laughs> Look. And you know Christmas has just passed. Because I've still got the roof on the door. And over here. The elves have put the washing out to dry. All oh, the fairies have this. Oh god, there's so much. Hi we Robin. Hi! Oh my god, that is always a sign. What is a sign? It's like a dead person. 
A what? It's like a, it's like a meaning a dead person's near. <laughs> oh, it's gone. Right, so I went to Super Drug when I was. Sorry, I need to stop talking my life though. Who wants a Super Drug haul? Three of these masks. Do I have my one? No. Nah. Anyway, these are like my favourite masks. I've really struggled to find ones that I like. They're just like a nice. Hold on. Let me model it for you. Hold the frick on. Right. So they're just like the perfect size. They're really breathable. Like they're not too close to your face. They're dead light. And I just think they look alright, don't they? Like the blue ones I've always, the medical ones I've always found the best, like comfort wise. But they don't look that nice. And I mean, I know it's not about looking nice. But like if you've got a nice outfit on and you wear a mask. You know what I mean? Then I got some brushes. So I was saying this earlier, I always lose my tail comb brush and I need it to part my hair. So I bought a new one and then I also bought this for baby hairs. I don't really have baby hairs, but girl, I've got snapped hair. Snapped? Snapped hair. They're just a little per skew -off. So hopefully that will help. And then what I want to find is like a nice wax. Molly was saying she uses wax like when she does like the hair up. And I'm like, I think I need that. So, I seen this and I was like, is that not like a cleaning product, like for surfaces? But then I remembered when I was in London, see my piercing, wait, oh my god, wait, that doesn't make any sense because it was that one. My bottom piercing for some reason got really badly infected and it spread to my glands. Your your piercings can get so infected that it spreads to your glands. Like my, my neck out here was all swollen and I like couldn't swallow, I couldn't talk. I remember when I actually went to Chelsea for the day and like Chelsea's pure posh and I was sitting in this restaurant like It was really bad but then I went into like a chemist and they gave me, well they told me to buy this and it helped so it's just for my third piercing they're not infected or anything but you need to keep it clean for like 8 weeks and they tell you to boil water and put salt in it they, they told me the measurements and all that and I'm like, do you really think I know what you're talking about with these mad measurements? Because I don't. Quite a lot of effort boiling the kettle. Sorry, I know, God, how lazy can you be? But it is. I'd rather just do a wee skush, 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 clean, clean, clean. I'll definitely get more piercings when it opens, so, you know, that'll come in handy. Then finally this. Um, Revolution CBD Nourishing Essence Spray yeah, I'm pretty sure this is what Flossie uses and yes, I am obsessed. So I thought I'd get that as well. I think you put it on before your makeup and when we take it off maybe. And that's everything, is not it? Yeah. Oh, that's that. <laughs> the real me. <laughs> mm. I put spot cream on. Do you know I never get spots but like this winter weather make me break out. And I'm not a fan. <laughs> right, let's try out the new spray, guys. I'm not naked. I have my tip one. Ooh. Well, refreshed. On the menu for dinner tonight is pizza boy. Um, so these are like our wee healthy pizzas that we make just on sandwich fins, gluten free of course. So basically my diet has been shocking, disgusting, disgraceful. I don't have any motivation at the moment. If you do then well done because I don't. But I mean we are trying and this is a fun way of eating healthy. I'll show you when it's done. Mamma mia! Dinner is served. Now look at these. Is this not like a fun healthy dinner? Although we did ask a wee bit of pepperoni. Uh, I don't know how healthy that is, but mm, apart from that. I'm such a catfish. Oh. 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 <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. mm. Right, folks. I made it to the gym. To the gym. Not done anything yet, but that surely counts as something. <gasps> Look, I've got a frog in this. <laughs> if you're wondering how a man a gym, basically Calm's garage, this is it. Oh, hello wee man. Hello other man. Um, it's like a wee home gym. It's quite good, isn't it? Good equipment and stuff. So really I have no excuses. Don't get me wrong, it is lockdown. I cannot be fudged in any in any way, but like a couple of times a week, I should really be doing it, you know. I'm trying, but I really can't be arsed. My PT always gets me to try and do <clears throat> chin ups with the rope. This thing. So I always start by writing my workout plan. <laughs> uh, if you're looking for anything to do in the gym then good place to start. <laughs> this is going to be painful. This is the first I've used this bad boy in a long time. Hello. And squeeze. 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 sugar plum bum bums and um, basically silly old me forgot to finish the vlog after my wee gym session went upstairs had a shower and then I edited boom this and then I just went to my beddy boss that was really it um but yeah that is my new life you know the life of a part-timer <laughs> whoa um but I suppose I'd just love to say a really big <laughs> A really big thanks to everyone who's supporting me because that is the whole reason I've managed to go part time and you know focus all in on this weird and crazy life. Uh, yeah, thanks so much everyone for watching. Thanks for the support, man. It means the world. Love yous.